Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how to do color selective colorization, which means, say you just went to red and the red ring of death, and the green to show in your picture and the rest black and white so it stands out um, has a cool effect uh, you want to go ahead and click the magic wand and then select the diameter which is good for your picture like here I have and just click where you want your the regular color to show not where you don't want it to be black and white and just click like that Now I'm not hating on the red ring or the Xbox. Why would I hate I have one before you even post a comment saying, "Oh, you hate the Xbox 360." Why do I hate it? I own one. I just grabbed the image off the internet. Okay, people. So you want to go ahead and get as close as possible. Yeah, let's just say the red. Alright. Because I don't feel like going into fine detail and making this video long. Why you guys don't hear me doing the tutorial. You can do that by yourself. So, after you have that, uh, you want to go to layer and select. I mean, select an inverse. That's going to pick the background layer or image. Uh, then you want to go layer, adjustment, and black and white. Alright. Oops. I hit colored balance black and white there you go you see there now the only thing that's showing hold on let me erase this is the red rings So there you go. It looks perfect. Um, well, there you go. That's basically how I do selective colorization in Photoshop. It can be any version that has the magic wand. And thank you for watching this tutorial. I will get more Photoshop tutorials up in as soon as possible. Now it's hard for me to do this because of school, but I will try. Okay, people. So give me time on videos. I have a life, unlike you people that do first comment, ooh, okay? So, please, just be patient on videos. Thank you.